Okay, Monday, 22nd of January. Pride. When to be proud of yourself? Because this is something I realised and internalised that just came to me a few days ago, maybe a week or something ago, where it's like, when you have done things in life, you've achieved things, you've built things, you've done things, you've been to places, you've seen things, you know, things that are like awesome achievements in life, that's an excuse to be proud of yourself. Of course, you know, hold your chin up high, you know, be, be proud of yourself, you know, take some, show some respect to yourself and your past and your efforts and the, the time you spend doing and building things. Show some pride. Like, wow, I, 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 it was something I was just overlooking, but I kind of like, but then it's like, I, I realised and internalised it. When, you know, some moment in public, sometime, I forgot where, like, you know, a week or two ago, whatever. And it makes sense. The more you do in life, the more you create, do, see, achieve, visit, build, whatever else, the more excuses, the more reasons, the more excuses to be proud of yourself and the more reasons you should be, should. Keyword there is should be proud of yourself. Makes sense. You do stuff that not everyone can do or would do or dares to do or whatever else. And yet you did it. And yet you're not giving it that the, you're not giving yourself the full credit by being proud of yourself. Now, I'm not saying, you know, don't ab abandon humility. I'm not saying ignore people and dismiss them if they haven't done the same thing. But at the same time, you've got to show credit where credit's due. Even if it's in yourself. Of course. Wow. It made, to me, that was blindingly... It was right under my nose. And I didn't see it until, again, two odd weeks, a week ago, whatever. So then the question of you could say, well, what have you done? to make yourself feel proud. Nice famous song with the same lyrics, the same name. What have you done to make yourself feel proud? You tell me. If you even want to feel proud of yourself, because it kind of goes into the realm of self-esteem and self-identity and, and, you know, self-respect. By all means, have, show as much respect as you want. Have as much, have as much pride as you want. Be, hum, be humble, by do, you know, if you do so desire. You're an adult. You can find the balance yourself, I'm sure. So then it's also a question of what have you done or what are you doing to make yourself feel proud? What are you doing that's worthy of being proud about, you know, boasting even? Maybe not as far as that, but things that are worthy of boasting doesn't necessarily mean that you would or will boast, but things that are boastable. Yeah. I always point to two, marathons and mountains, only because those are the two examples I can think of straight away that I have done. I did a marathon last year in 2023, and this year, in 2024, I've got plans to climb three more mountains than I've climbed all the highest mountains in the UK. Perfect. And those two things are things that not everyone can say they've done. Yeah, by all means. They will, we all have different standards and values, so some people won't really care about a marathon. Some people won't care about doing mountains. Some people won't care about travelling, because I've also been to every corner of the UK. Some people won't care about that, but it's not about them. Ultimately, it's about myself. That ability to say, I did something, I'm proud, proud of myself. I take pride in my actions, take pride in my decisions, take pride in my accomplishments. And those just happen to be, they just happen to be mountains and marathons. I have another idea to swim the English Channel, but I think that's a bit too big. But, you know, it's not imp not important enough. It's not not important. It'd be really, really cool, but it's not, not, not vital. So, yeah, take pride in yourself and your actions. Even down to even down to what you've achieved and built, businesses, the clients, things like that, online presence, the following, the habits, the consistency, even the clarity you have in life, that's important. As I often say in these videos, clarity. We want clarity in life, what we do and don't want. And it's like when you take when you have that clarity, it's a damn important and damn good way to have pride in yourself. I was having a conversation recently with someone. And uh, they, they were a bit adrift in life, let's say. They didn't quite know exactly what to focus on, what to do, what to build or create. And uh, I was thinking, thank goodness. Thank goodness I have clarity and I can take pride in that. By all means, I, I was sharing some things with him. You know, teaching in general. It's down to him if he accepts it or not or takes it to heart. But I felt that then, I felt then that you know, I can take pride because I have... I have clarity, I have, I have focus, I, I know what I'm doing in life, very important. 
And not everyone does. Fair enough. We all have our own journey, our own struggles, our own demons. Fair enough. But I felt, you know, good. I, I know what to do. That's good, very important. And then he will find it in due time. There we are. So taking pride. Yeah, able to hold our chins up high and able to say our name, our name with with pride, our, our achievements with pride. And that's priceless, that's self-esteem. Because when when we have low self-esteem, are we living life to the fullest, really, then? Are we holding ourselves back? Are we really doing what we really want to do in life? If I want this or don't want that, am I actually acting on those desires to avoid that and to pursue this? Yes, no, maybe. Mm -hmm. Things worth thinking about. So, pride. Take pride in your achievements. And the more things you do, the more reasons you have to be prideful of yourself. Makes sense. So then go out into the world and do more prideful, do amazing, do amazing things that you can share and you know, raise your self-esteem and even the comfort zone and, and confidence in life. Things like that, usual buzzwords. Yeah, I guess it's one way now, now I think about it. I guess pride is a result of doing things in life which inadvertently expand the comfort zone, which have the direct effect of making you a better, stronger person. Makes sense. So then I say, right, do more stuff, do more cool things. I mean, you, know, you haven't got to spend, when you haven't got to spend your time doing stuff all the time. There's a time for everything, time for work, time for videos, time for Spanish, time for exercises, time for gym, by all means. But yeah. We want to be, we want to have pride in ourselves. Makes sense. I mean, pride is in, what I've achieved and accomplished, done and created, things that not everyone can or would or should do, or are willing to do, or even dare to do. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise then, I w you will see me tomorrow.